Shalom, family, it's your man Elia. Thank you for joining me at Sectarian Wisdom again. And as usual, I am a wise, wealthy, rich, celestial being that is loved by the Most High Creator. Let's get it, family. All right, family. Once again, we're jumping into Terra Infinita, extraterrestrial worlds and their civilizations. And we're jumping into Chapter 5, The Lands of Venus. All right, let's just go ahead and jump in, family. The original beings of these lands, also called Venusians, and unlike those of Mars, they survived all colonization, but how? Hmm, let me, let me start that again. The original beings of these lands are also called Venusians, and unlike those of Mars, they survived all colonization, but how? It is still not known for sure how these beings were able to make fun of the brutal colonization they suffered long before the custodians took the known lands. According to some legends, within the giant race, the first humans thought to make contact with the original Venusians in order to form a block against the colonizers and thus learn from each other. This happened in the beginning just before the custodians took the first humans by surprise and they ended up being colonized in the walled lands. The, mm, there are theories that some of the early humans who started in the lands of Asgard, Lumeria, and Atlantis in conjunction with a portal connection to Hyperborea may have escaped before the first custodial attack and possibly settled in the lands of Venus. The Venusian, the Venusians are being who, the Venusians are beings who base their technology purely and exclusively for spiritual development and benefit on their path of ascending or transcending, or hmm. The Venusians are beings who base their technology purely and exclusively for spiritual development and benefit on their path of ascending or transcending internally. They did not possess weapons of destruction for attack and defense. This the custodians saw as easily accessible once they penetrated their world environment. They thought that everything would be simple in those lands. The surprise came when the custodians set foot on the lands of Venus and a great storm hit the circle environment very suddenly. They did not take note of it at that time as they thought it was the weather there but as the days passed they saw that the storm never receded and they could not find a single Venusian on the surface the storms were the storms never ceased until the last custodian did not cross the dome to the outside the custodial technology they began well, let me go back and read I read that horribly hold on but as the days passed they saw that the storm never receded and they could not find a single Venusian on the surface. The storms never ceased until the last custodian did not cross the dome to the outside. With custodial technology, they began to notice that the Venusians were underground in bunkers of a technology hitherto unknown to them. And the storm raging up there on the and the storm raging up there on the surface was truly devastating. You know what this kind of sounds like, family? This sounds like from Stargate, the Gua'uld who would not... The main race of Gua'uld apparently would steal people's bodies without their permission, right? But then there was another race of Gua'uld who didn't believe in taking people's bodies by um, against their will. So they would only take hosts if the people agreed to let this... Gua'uld like like um almost like a parasite live within them so the people who I, I forget what they were called but they were they basically turned into a rebel force and I forget what they call their names but the rebel forces of these Gua'uld who are not like the evil Gua'uld they would make bases underground in bunkers and they had technology that would build that would literally dig these holes to create bunkers so if you watch Stargate I forget what they're called. Go ahead and put it in the comments. You'll remember the call. If you guys want me to, I'll do um, a video to show you the similarities of who I'm thinking of. But they have this technology, and they seem like very peaceful. Other other than their friends, the I mean, other than their kin, the other Gua'uld who would take people's bodies by force, 
Like I said, these ones only did it if the people agreed to it, if the host agreed to it. And like I said, they had technology to build bunkers. So all their bases were underground. Um, I wish I remember what they called, but anyway. With the custodial technology, they began to notice that the, Ven that the Venusians were underground in bunkers of technology hitherto unknown to them. And the storm raging up and the storm raging up there on the surface was truly devastating. The trustees gathered to come to a decision soon. They were not going to stay there much longer. In fact, many trustees started revolts and didn't see the point in dying up there. Things got pretty complicated for the leaders. Many saw it as a failure and others thought of returning at another time. But true to their history, they did not give in and many custodians died on Venus. Even a very important leader in, is said to have fallen to those distant land. Okay. Even a very important leader is said to have fallen in those distant lands. The conquest of Venus for the custodians was a failure. In fact, they did not fight against the Venusians who did not possess weapons. If they had them, I think it would have been a crushing defeat for them. When the story was known in other circle environments, when the story was known in other circle environment, they tried to imitate it, but with disastrous results. Later we will comment on that point. The technology that the Venusians had been developing was not overnight. It was years and years of progress, and those bunkers had everything. High level subway connections, the custodians tried to block and even destroy the area with explosives and missiles, but for each attempt, many custodians died because the areas near the bunkers were also full of explosives and other technology that hindered e even the approach. A custodial leader, already at the end of this failed invasion, met with the Venusian leader, as it was feared that the custodians might try to blow up the entire surrounding circle in retaliation. No one really knows what was discussed or what happened that day, but the custodians left the lands of Venus in the worst way, with heavy casualties and a defeat to their credit. We know because the Venusians themselves told us that in this meeting, besides pleading for peace in their lands, they would have asked for the liberation of the humans, which was totally rejected. Hmm. All right, that's the end of that chapter, family. Also, another thing I noticed that when, when they said the custodians tried bombing the Venusians, that also, once again, if you go back to Stargate, Matter of fact, um, let me see if I can find find on here what they're called while we're on it. Because I remember during Stargate when the Gua'uld were trying to get into these secret bunkers of the um, the rebel Gua'uld. I remember that was their main tactic is that the Gua'uld would air bombard the bunkers. And in the episode, you know, you would see um, the walls of the bunkers collapsing and stuff. And hold on, let me see. Uh. Stargate SG Am I, I know I have a loud voice too, family. I apologize if, if you're like, why are you always talking so loud? I'm so used to it. I've tried so many times, but I've been doing it so for so many years. I just start talking loud and don't even realize it, man. My voice just projects so much. I like I would like to be more calm in my talk, but I don't know what to tell you, man. I think they're called the Tari. The war between the Tari of Earth and the Gua'uld Empire was nine years. Hold on, family. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to make sure that you guys, so you can go look it up if you want.
Dang it. Okay. No. Okay, no, that's not it. They're not the Tari. Um, dang it. Let me see. Um, ah, the Tokra. The Tokra. Okay, that's what they're called. So, if you go watch Stargate, the Rebel Gua'ul, the ones I'm talking about who remind me of the people of Venus... Because they lived in bunkers and, and things of that nature, and they and they made bunkers. They're called the the the, the Tokra, T O K R A. So those who are familiar with Stargate SC one, um, that's who the people of Venus remind me of. Okay. Anyway, families, as usual. Oh no! What did I do? Did I mess something? Okay. Anyway, as usual. I'm a wise, wealthy, rich, celestial being that is loved by the Most High Creator. We got it, family. I'll catch you later. And there I am.